people barely know about Asian American activism. It's becoming more visible in the, to the mainstream in the most recent period. We have a very long and rich history of protest and active organizing against racism and for a transformative uh, change for liberatory communities. For example, in Hawaii in 1920, to protest the work conditions on the sugarcane plantations in Hawaii, the Japanese and Filipino sugarcane workers united and had a huge industry-wide strike. Mobilization was largely ethnic-specific, but you know, uh, notably, that changed uh, in, in, in the 1960s, of course, with the civil rights movement, free speech movement, uh, anti-Vietnam War movement, and uh, the emergence of the Asian American movement itself, you know, that brought together Americans of various Asian ancestries. So the term Asian American itself is a political coinage uh, that reflects this emphasis on unity. The uh, Asian American movements also work in multiracial and transnational solidarity uh, with other groups, both in the United States, but also with people in the developing world who are fighting against racism, uh, neo-imperialism, racialized labor exploitation, um, structural inequities such as access to housing, food, and healthcare uh, that bound them together. In the 1980s, you know, when Southeast Asian refugees first arrived in the United States from Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, Southeast Asian parents and Latinx parents work together to ensure bilingual support for their children and equitable access uh, to the curriculum for their children. You've got Grace Lee Box, who was a, a dedicated advocate and long-term advocate for African-American communities. Asian-American and activism seems like oxymorons, um, which they are not. Studying Asian-American activism, it changes, it transforms us, I think, to think of ourselves as connected to a history of resistance and protest. Um, it changes how we think change happens in society. It is through hard work, it is through education, but it isn't only through that. I really want to encourage all the younger generation of Asian Americans you know, to really delve into these histories, to learn not just about the particularities of the challenges facing our communities, but also these kind of long uh, um, and intertwined histories of solidarity, of, of coalitional politics, right? It is critically important for all of us to be at the table speaking about this. Uh, and for, for allies, you know, to come together uh, and, and support communities that may not have the resources, that may not have the platform. Really not just struggle for the low hanging fruit, not just struggle for the things that are actionable items that, that we can do kind of in the immediate, um, because so often those turn into transactional reforms when what we really need is long haul social movement building. There's something that happens when we dream big and when we have a radical imagination. We begin to see the world that we actually want. People are talking about a lot, right? Which is self-care. And, and I'd like to think about it as collective care. And this is a lesson that I've really learned from Yuri Kochiyama. And she's of course known, best known for having worked with Malcolm X. She always cared about the political prisoners, she would tell people it's their birthdays, you need to send them a card. She always asked people how they were. They think it's really important that we take time to take care of ourselves, whatever that means. And I think to be reflective and to slow down.